up guys it's uh, Tuesday just going through my week and uh, again one of those like head down at the desk like not much to share kind of stuff days but have a break going over to get my haircut it's been five weeks so it's getting all long and shaggy but anyway I, I enjoy going to get my haircut because it kind of gives me some perspective of kind of what other people are doing and like chatting it up with the hairstylist and just kind of seeing what she's going through and it's a male only barber and so she deals with a lot of their clients kind of fun here and their story and what they're doing and some of the things that her clients are going through right now um but anyway other than that um you know summer's around school kids are out and got some fun plans for the summer doing some traveling things like that so that's exciting <music> One of the questions that we didn't get to in our Ask Eric Cameron show this week, I lost my mojo and, and how do I get it back, right? So something along the lines of that, like how do I how do I find my passion again or I'm just not driven anymore? And I can relate. Um, so I started being self-employed basically 10 and a half years ago. It was January of 20, no, yeah, 2009, 2009, I guess you could say. So 10 and a half years ago. And before that, it was just kind of like, here's my thing, here's my job, I gotta show up for my 12 or 14 hours a day and do my thing, right? And I got paid for it, and it was nice because I got to check every single week and have to worry about it. Uh, but at the same time, like, I wasn't that excited about it. Like, it was a job, I got it out of school, I like pushed myself to get this really good job, and I did get a really good job, I just didn't love it that much. Um, but over the last 10 years, like, I've had a lot of like, this is going on, right? Like, sometimes I'm super excited, sometimes I'm not. Um, other times I'm passionate about what I'm working on, other times it's just like, I gotta get it done. I was listening to a YouTube video this morning, like when I'm getting ready and shaving and then like brushing my teeth and all that kind of stuff. I listen to YouTube, you know, those guys who make those like motivational videos where there's like 20 different speakers and they're like little chip, uh, chopped up clips of them speaking. I love those videos just because they're like 15 minutes of like powerhouse for me in the morning, it like gets my day started and all that. So it's a lot of fun. If you haven't checked those out before, I would definitely recommend uh, getting some motivation in the mornings for you, you know, just like go get it, you know, don't forget to hustle and you know, it's going to be a long day, but you'll make it all that kind of stuff. So the one I was listening to today, it was like, it talked about being in this life for a purpose and not having a passion. And I hadn't thought about it that way. Like I'm passionate about a lot of stuff. Like I love cars. I'm passionate about cars. I love to travel. I'm passionate about that. I love my family. I'm passionate about that. I have all these things that I'm excited about. But he asked the question, he's like, you know, what are you on this per or what are you on? What's the purpose of you being here uh, on this earth, you know, and, and I believe the purpose of us being here is to gain a body and get experiences and to learn to become more Christ-like and all that. I, I definitely have faith in that, but you know, and beyond that, like everybody's here for that purpose, but what is your individual purpose and what are you excited about? And what's the thing that gets you going every day? And he said, if and I talked about this last week, I think, is if every day your alarm goes off and you're not like, woo, I'm ready to go. Like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And you're not that attitude and you're like, oh, snooze, snooze. Like today, man, I hit snooze three times. I don't know why. I just, like I was excited for the day and what was going on and I got some good things going on today. But sometimes I just have to hit snooze. And, and, I'm, and I'm still excited about what I do and I love it and it's a lot of fun and I love helping you guys and and helping you explore new ways to do your marketing and coaching you and, and all the clients that we work with, it's a lot of fun. But some days I just have those moments where I'm like, oh, like, is there something else, you know? And was I put here to just do this? Uh, and so he goes through a couple examples of these guys who were just incredible what they did, you know? Like they found the thing that they love in life and it's gonna drive them forever. And I think that I've got a lot of, like I talked about this again last week, I, I got a lot of opportunities to kind of figure that out. But I guess my question for you this week is, have you figured out what you like and do you love it? And does it get you out of bed every day? <music> Part of that question um, of this vlog is really like, what do you do when you don't have that passion anymore? And what do you do when you're kind of lost and and not sure where to go next and not sure what decision to make and not sure what path to choose from? I think some of us will have those opportunities in life where life takes a moment to pause and it just kind of backs up for a second and says, you can choose path A 
or you can choose path B or turn around and there's like 28 other choices, right? Uh, but what do you want to do? Do you want to keep going down this route? Do you want to keep striving for that thing that you've been working on these last 10 years or do you want to do something different? And every one of us has a different response to that. And I think, you know, I saw the question that's coming up in a couple of weeks and I'm excited for this one. Um, we, we definitely phase out our uh, plan ahead for our Ask Eric show. If you haven't checked that out, Mondays at 10 a.m. on my Eric Hammond page. <laughs> But one of the questions coming up is, uh, uh, can you re, I think it was like, can you reinvent yourself when you're 50? And I think, you know, basically the, the, the behind the scenes part of that question is, is I'm 50 years old and maybe I want to do something different. I'm about to turn 40 and I still feel like I'm making sharp left and right turns to kind of course correct, you know? Like when I started up our marketing business, we used to do marketing um, for a bunch of different things, you know, and, and trying to figure that out, building funnels and, doing the thing that made sense, but now we're getting more, as we have more experience, we're getting more into consulting, we're offering more one-on-one -on -one coaching, we have some new Facebook groups that we're starting up, we have different products, like it's, it's always evolving. And whether I do this for another 10 years or this is just kind of a business for the meantime, I don't know. I mean, while I'm here, I'm happy to serve you guys and do everything that I can. But I think, you know, moving forward, there might be some other things that come along. And so, as I'm going to answer in a few weeks, this 50 year old who's saying, can I reinvent myself? The answer is hundred percent. Yes, you can reinvent yourself. I think, you know, like looking at Colonel Sanders, I don't remember the exact age that he was, but I think he was well into his seventies when he came up with the concept of KFC and like, look what that dude was able to make, um, from that. And there's plenty of other people who are well into their fifties, sixties, seventies plus who came up with some incredible things that our world enjoys. <laughs> Backing up, if you're not passionate about where you are in this life and you're not excited about what you're doing, you've lost that hustle, you've lost that drive, you've lost the passion that you once had. And that doesn't mean that you're on the wrong path, it just meant that this path has led as far as it could go and now there's the fork. And you've got to decide, am I going to go left or am I going to go right? Or do I, I guess there's a third option, do I keep going at this path? But if you're at the end of the path, I guess that's the question, is if I'm at the end of this path, do I go left or right and, and have that choice? And path. A and path B, they're not wrong and they're not right. It's just which one makes sense for you right now. And I think the only way that you got to the fork in that road is by the decisions and the previous experience that you had before this. So there's nothing wrong with it because it led you to that path and it's where you are today. And there's so many opportunities that are gonna come for you tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that. In decades down the road, you're gonna have more forks in the road that you get to choose from. So don't think of it if you're lost right now or you lost your hustle or you lost your excitement. Maybe you're having a bad day and that's fine. We all have them. I have them all the time. Um, but maybe you just need to take a minute and to say, what else could I be thinking about right now? Is there a moment right now where I have the opportunity to just pause life for a second and take a day or two and just kind of shut off the world and say, let me write down everything that I'm excited about. Let me write down the things that make me super excited to get out of bed in the morning, the things that I want to go after. Not my passions, but the things that I was called here to do. What are those things? Is it selling real estate? Is it working on cars? Is it cutting grass? Is it cracking people's backs? Is it giving people awesome teeth? Is it making sunglasses? Or like I just read on the way over here at a stoplight, um, some dude invented or like hacked a, a Tesla into a pickup truck in his garage, like a homemade Tesla pickup truck. Like who knows, maybe there's gonna be a Tesla pickup truck now because of this dude. Like what are you excited about? What can you create that'll leave a legacy behind for you? And I think that's what's the most incredible thing about this life is that any of us can do anything. We have all the opportunity in the world to create so many amazing products, services, technologies. The world is at these fingertips. Like you can do anything you want to. You just got to find it. Don't wait for it to find you. It's all in here. Nonetheless, find out what you're excited about. If you're not loving what you're doing right now, it's not too late to switch. It's not too late to switch. Go back and rethink where you are. Don't quit your job yet, because you still gotta figure that out. You still gotta make some money, you still gotta get a paycheck. But if you do have that luxury and you can say, look, 
I'm done. I'm out. I want to quit this job. I don't want an, uh, a boss anymore, or I don't want to do this anymore. I'm taking the hard left turn. Hopefully that's left for you. I'm taking the hard left turn, and I'm going that way now for a while. Uh, that's awesome. Go for it. Make that choice. You just got to decide what that's going to be, what that next path looks like until you get to the next work, and the next work, and the next work. Guys, life's too short to do something that you don't want to do. Enjoy every single moment of your life. And unless you're loving every single moment of your life, keep figuring it out until you do. You haven't lost your drive in life. You're just not doing the thing that you're super excited about right now, and you will find it. just coming out of the city um, ugh, met with them again this is to get our permits for our addition so they're requiring a soil sample on our house our addition which basically means that some dude comes over and digs a hole samples that dirt runs a bunch of tests to find out what we need to do to it and then gives that information back to the structural engineer so that they could tell the concrete guy how thick the concrete needs to be how much rebar we need to put in there how moist the uh, concrete's going to be. What exactly does the structural engineer need to see so that we get the right soil sample guy? And I come down here and talk to these guys and they have no idea. They're like, I don't think you need a soil sample. You can just print that out online. So there's three departments in cities. There's planning, there's building, and then there's engineering. And even though they have one long desk, I wish I would have taken a picture in there. They have one long desk, it's like 50 feet long. No communication goes back and forth between any of those guys before. And if you've ever pulled a permit before or done anything like this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, they just don't communicate. And so I go to talk to engineering because I'm like, oh, you're engineering the, the foundation. That makes sense. Go talk to building. They're like, yeah, you should go talk to engineering. I was like, yeah, they told me to come talk to you. So anyway, long story short, they said call back after two because somebody else will be here who knows how to do it. <laughs> figure out a smart system that'll work for our house where you can like say hey Alexa turn on the lights haven't found anything that I love yet Guys, I appreciate you following along this vlog every single week. I try to just pour my heart out into these vlogs. It's so much fun bringing my phone around with me and talking to you guys every single week and sharing who I am, what I'm working on, the things that I'm excited about, the things that I'm working on. Sometimes it's just head down, get it done, and other times I can open up like this and share my thoughts and feelings with you guys. But if you need any help exploring ideas, thinking about things, you're stuck with something, I'm always an ear to bounce ideas off. I love those kind of conversations. So hit me up. I'd love to talk to you for a minute about what you're working on, what you're struggling with. And if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button below, guys. It'd make the world to me. I'd love to have you keep following along in this journey as I share my life, the businesses that I'm working on, and just everything that I can to bring you as much value as I can. So guys, hit the button below, share this with somebody who needs to see it. And guys, we will see you next week on the vlog. Till then, make it a great week.